All right, this is on Descartes' Rule of Signs. Feel free to pause and read. Um, because a nth degree polynomial equation might have roots that are imaginary or complex, we should note that such an equation can have at most n real roots. Descartes' Rule of Signs provides even more specific information about the number of real zeros that a polynomial can have. The rule is based on considering variations in signs between consecutive coefficients. So here's an example. We have this seventh degree polynomial. We want to see how many sign changes occur. So this is the positive, and then we go negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. We're looking for the number of sign changes. So here is a sign change going from a positive to a negative. Here is a sign change going from a negative to a positive. And then one more. So this example has three sign changes. So on the next slide, we're going to find out what does that mean for us. So here is our polynomial function. And number one, the number of positive real zeros is the first situation. Part A, the number of sign changes of the function or less than the number of sign changes by a positive even integer. If the function only has one sign change, then it only has exactly one. So they're going to go down by even numbers. So make sure you remember that. Even numbers. If you have negative real zeros, you have to do a little bit more work. You have to evaluate the function for negative x. And then count the number of sign changes. Now, in part b, it says less than the number of sign changes by, again, a positive even integer. If f of negative x has only one sign variation, then I only have one negative real zero. So we're going to go ahead and look at some examples. So here is example one. It is that seventh degree polynomial. It has a sign change, a sign change, and a sign change. So three sign changes. So if we go up to this box, We look at the number of sign changes. There were three of them. And so now you go down by even numbers. So you'd have three and one. So you'd have three or one positive zeros. Example two. This is a fifth degree polynomial with a sign change and a sign change. So two sign changes. So for the positives, you have two sign changes, and now you sub go down by evens, so you have two or zero positive real zeros. Example three. You have one sign change, so you just have one positive real zero. All right, so now we're going to do the positive and the negative using Descartes. So for the positive, you're just going to look at the original function. And count the sign changes. So we have a positive, a positive, a positive, a positive. So we have no sign changes. So what does that tell us is we have zero positive real zeros. All right, now let's move on to negative 
real zeros. This is where we have to do a little bit of work. We have to evaluate the function for negative x. And then we simplify. Negative times a negative times a negative is negative x cubed. Plus a negative x times a negative x is a positive x squared. 5 times a negative x is a negative x, and then plus 4. So let's look at the sign changes. I have a negative, a positive, a negative, a positive. So how many sign changes do we have? Here's a sign change, here's a sign change, and here's a sign change. We have three sign changes. So now, for the negative real zeros, we go down by even amount. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 3 or 1 negative real zeros.